It's the Dandy Man! <laughs> For being a shadow in two dandelions, that is a surprisingly unnerving image. I, I, I would totally dive right into an unknowable entity? SCP that pursues you forever through nature called the Dandy Man. And the only escape is to stay on concrete at all times. Everything in moderation, except animated women who are slightly unhinged. Uh, I would argue that Azula and Jinx are a bit more than slightly unhinged. Would even go so far as to say they are no longer connected to the doorframe. The problem with horror now is that there are no men in little tank tops and booty shorts. They were hunted to extinction. Huh. Fair point. My sister saw two unaccompanied little children in a trench coat giggling amongst themselves yesterday, and I am absolutely howling. <laughs> oh my god, it's like exactly like you would imagine it. I see one fully functional adult in two photos. What's the joke? As a legally blind person, me too. If they came into a store and tried to buy anything that wasn't like actually age restricted, I would just play along. Like if they were just buying candy bars and stuff, I'd be like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, okay. The Barbie movie is ending relationships left and right. Ooh, that which can be destroyed by the Barbie movie should be. I agree. <laughs> if one movie is enough to destroy your relationship, what did you think you were going to do when you face any sort of actual challenge in your relationship? What? What the hell? Me, sees Northerners complain about studio apartments costing over $1,000 a month. Me, in Louisiana, laughs as I write my rent check for 400 bucks. Me, grabs my sword to defend myself against the man-sized mosquitoes burning crosses in my front yard. I can't tell if this is making fun of Northerners or Southerners. <laughs> <laughs> Pick your poison. I will say the bugs are are better up north. Like it, it, they're not not nearly as bad, but the rent is insane. I just learned that someone on Tumblr role played as OSHA for years, as in made an account pretending to be the official OSHA account and posted things that could credibly be official. OSHA posts, citing specific regulations and such. Incredible lol. Absolutely bonkers that I'm now one of those weirdos you hear about on Twitter. So why did you stop? Commit to the bit. I committed to the bit so hard that I also committed misdemeanor impersonation of a government official. Oh, I hope you didn't actually get in trouble. That'd be very, very dumb. Throwback to the time, my classics professor asked, does anyone know who Sappho is? And I immediately replied, she's the OG lesbian. And my professor yelled, exactly, and wrote the OG lesbian on the whiteboard. Oh my God, I love this, I love this so much. I once won first place in my university's poker AI competition. We had two hours to build a bot, and first place was a new MacBook. I was a freshman and had no idea what I was doing. My algorithm was literally, if is my turn, go all in. <laughs> I broke all the other bots who started folding every single time. Everyone else made AIs, but only OP was playing poker. This, this shows a massive understanding of the game and was probably infuriating for the university. <laughs> I'm glad you got a MacBook out of it, though. Free computer is always good. My friend's little brother, nonverbal, used to hide people's shoes if he liked the person because it meant they had to stay longer. The more difficult it was to find your shoes, the more he liked you. One day, my cousin came over and she was a witch. When it was time to leave, my friend's brother handed her shoes directly to her and she went on and on about he must have a crush on her because he only helps her. Sorry, he only helped her. Aw, aren't you sweet? You got me my shoes. Get off my property. DIY culture. I made it myself for free. Um, <clears throat> Free equals three hours. Profanity in four languages. One smash thumb, three milliliters of blood. And 50 pounds of materials. You're pretending you cost you nothing because you got them so long ago, you've moved house with them four times. Wow, and I thought call out culture was dead. Fun fact, I have a stack of craft foam that I was using for an armor project that has moved to with me twice. Yes. I'm not going to pretend that it didn't cost me anything, though. Oh my god, crafting is expensive. Guys, do you know that one meme where there's a girl in, like, a bodyguard? Question mark? Ordering drinks and the waiter gives them the wrong drinks, so they switch them on the last panel? I th oh, what? Because I can't find it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, that's adorable. I fracking got it. <laughs> Wait, this is the original meme you were looking for. Did somebody like recreate this? I absolutely love that 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 meme though. That's beautiful. I was on a bus once when this guy tapped my knee and pointed out that we were the only two people not looking at their phones and then asked what I was thinking about. Sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I relive the moment I saw his manic pixie dream girl hopes 
draining from his eyes and fill up with confusion and boredom as I explained to him that I was thinking about how much West Mexico is ignored by other Mesoamerican archaeologists and locked him into the conversation until it was my stop. Uh, don't lose the notes. They always see Pixie and Dream and Girl, but forgive the terrible, awesome driving power of Manic. Yeah, good lord, if somebody was like, what are you thinking about? I'd have to make up something so that I didn't say something boring like, I don't know, file ingest workflow or MIDI routing. Uh, how to cram an OLED screen into my Steam Deck. I'm, t I'm too weird for these random questions. Jesus. Did you know that proper pearl necklaces actually have knots between each pearl? I actually did know this. I don't know why I had that 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 little nagging nugget of information, but uh, the, this is done to stop the pearls from rubbing up against each other. Yes, potentially causing damage and discoloration to each bead, and also so that if the string breaks, it's unlikely that one more than one or two pearls will fall off the string. This, yes, this is exactly why it's done. Well, that's that's how it was explained to me. Pearl necklaces and bracelets, for that matter, need restringing regularly to make sure that the string isn't stretched afraid or otherwise damaged, which would put the necklace at risk of breaking, uh, and when they are restringed properly, uh, new knots are always tied between each pearl. This prose brought to you by the Stop Making Pearls Scatter Everywhere Whenever You Break a Fancy Lady's Necklace When Murdering Her, Thriller Writers, All You're Doing Is Revealing She Was Wearing Crappy Plastic Beads, Gang. <laughs> but, but, but the drama. <laughs> it, okay, yes, I'll give you that. In writing and in cinematography, it's much more dramatic to have a bunch of, you know, expensive jewelry going all over the place with, you know, this, the drama of murder. And in the moment, I, I will not question it. But, you know, later on, when I, if I ever watch that movie a second time, I'm going to sit there going... That was costume jewelry. I want to decompose in a bog. Well, you clearly don't know the first thing about bugs, Cloud Chaser. In the bug is like the opposite of decomposition. Get pickled, idiot. A uh, huge fan of the phrase, get pickled, idiot. <laughs> What are those little fellows that live in the sand called? And some blurry stuff that I can't read. Crabs? Uh, yes, uh, sorry for the foolish question. No such thing in this sub. Obsessed with the fact that there's a Redditor out there who calls themselves Pissbot, but carries themselves with the unflappable politeness of a confused Victorian gentleman. This is why Reddit and Tumblr are my, my favorite social media platforms. Reddit is just like wild roulette, but you can actually guide it somewhat. And Tumblr is just people being obsessed with the outside world. We lost it when songs started being uploaded on YouTube called Speed Up Plus Pitched TikTok Version. Like, call it what it's called. It's Nightcore! Yes! Respect the ones who came before you. Well, and put an anime girl on the thumbnail. Yes. <laughs> this right here. I remember when that B started becoming, like, and like, I understand it because, you know, you only have two to three seconds to grab somebody during the first bit of a TikTok. Like, speeding up and pitching it up is, makes sense, but then when they were like, oh no, here's the entire thing, I was like, that's that's just Nightcore. That's been, that's been around for a while. Why do people keep blaming superheroes for property damage and civilian casualties uh, when the supervillain slash alien armada was blowing everything up? I have never understood this. You're like, oh my God, this is, you know, superheroes causing all this. I was like, oh, would you prefer they not? Like, yes, I'm sure the Hulk messed up the fascia of some buildings around 43rd Street. But but if you'd like him to hang out somewhere else on his motorbike and not show up at all, uh, I, I think you might have a little bit more damage to, to deal with. But, you know, if you want that, go for it. <laughs> I say this in jest because I know other people are mostly jesting. There's still some people who take life way too seriously that just want the best of everything all the time. But you have better things to do with your time than take those people seriously. Whoa, dude. When I heard about rad femmes, I thought it would be some most radical females. But those chicks are saying some bogus things about other babes. <laughs> Oh my god! I, I found an okay use of AI. I just want a text AI that reads the internet to me in the style of Bill and Ted. You can just reformat every news article to the style of Bill and Ted and I, I will be happy. I really hate it when people say you shouldn't use the computer or watch TV before going to bed and instead you should read a book because you need winding down time 
or you won't sleep. Ha <laughs> ha, good one. Do you know what happens if I start a book before bed? I end up fracking finishing it, that's what. Oh my God, I've never understood this. My eyesight isn't good enough to read like properly anymore. Even even Kindle's like at the, the largest thing. I'm like doing one sentence per page. It's just annoying. But if I get into a book, especially when I was younger, like I would, I would read a like 500 page book in a day. Like I read so much as a kid. Under my bed were just a ton of different books all open to different pages, like to where I was rereading them. Like all the spines were just destroyed. But reading was not like a relaxing, act. it was involved. Like it was a focused activity. On the flip side, I've started gaming before bed. Not like serious RPGs or anything, just like Kirby and some like boomer shooters and stuff like that. And it has helped me fall asleep faster than I think anything else has. Cause it's just sort of mindless and then you just sort of check out when you feel yourself getting tired. Like it's so much better than anything narrative driven. Who are these people that reading relaxes? Oh my God. Gonna start saying, hey, you couldn't make X movie today, but not for reasons related to political correctness. Ah, you couldn't make Home Alone 2 lost in New York today because the strict airport regulations put into place after 9-11 make it nigh impossible for a child to simply walk onto the wrong plane. <laughs> this is true. You couldn't make American Psycho today because Christian Bale would actually kill Jared Leto for real. <laughs> I don't see that as a deal breaker. One of my favorite things I've learned about animal studies is that you should avoid using colorful leg bands when you're banding birds because you can accidentally completely skew the data because female birds prefer males with colorful bands. Oh, apparently if you put a red band on a male red wing blackbird, his harem size can double. So like you can completely frick up the natural reproduction of a group of birds by giving a guy a bracelet so stylish the females cannot resist him. Me putting a red bracelet on the leg of a male red wing blackbird. Oh God, we gonna get you some kitty, bro. <laughs> hey. I shouldn't approve of this level of science hacking. And officially, I don't. Officially. Things I, a highly educated adult, don't know off the top of my head. Uh, which months have 30 days and which have 31? What the nth letter of the alphabet is. Uh, basically, nobody knows the second one. It just doesn't come up often enough. Months, though, those are important. We're in a month right now. Aw, oh, frack again. It keeps happening. When will it end? Uh, midnight on the 30th. No, 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 I mean, uh, when will we stop having months? Well, there's this thing called the sun. <laughs> also, if you've ever had to count hexadecimal, you at least know the first six uh, numbered letters of the alphabet. But after that, it gets it get, get a little fuzzy. Posts that be like, if I were a monster uh, that had to eat people, I would just eat horrible people are so absurd to me. How often do you see known criminals on the street? Billionaires out for a nightly stroll around town? Effectively fracking never. If I have to drag myself to the grocery store, you think it's gonna be any easier for me to hunt Bezos and co every time my stomach growls? I can't bother to plan meals more than a day in advance. How am I gonna perform whole hours detective work to confirm someone's serial killer, sorry, to confirm someone's a serial killer before I eat them? Y'all got that much time on your hands? Planning five course meals every night of the week? Don't make me laugh. Eat a pedestrian and tragically wrestle with guilt like the rest of us, idiot. I'm, I'm sorry, wait, 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 wait. The rest of us? What do you mean the rest of us? <laughs> I, 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 do, I do feel like the bottom image. <laughs> Just adds so much. I can't believe Americans on TV really say rock, paper, scissors like it's paper, scissors, rock. Oh my God. Do you IRL Americans actually say rock, paper, scissors? W what? What? <laughs> Reblog this with whether you say paper, scissors, rock or rock, paper, scissors. Me normally. Linguistic differences are so interesting and cool. I love hearing different dialectal variations. Me reading paper, scissors, rock with my own two eyeballs. The Lord is testing me. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. That this is not a thing. It's it's rock paper scissors, right? I know it's fairly widespread because there's a gaming news site called Rock Paper Shotgun. So like, I know it's out there in the world. I'm just now very concerned. I feel like Seamus Aran, when she's not on a mission, would have a Tony Hawk type experience with people not recognizing her without her armor. Like she'd get carded buying alcohol or something, and the cashier would go, Seamus Sh Aran. Oh. Ha. It's spelled just like the bounty hunter too. I wonder what he's up to now. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Someone will say something completely reasonable like people deserve food and shelter. And some guy who would actually benefit from that just goes, nah. 
I appreciate that Tumblr is like the antidote to Twitter. Like it's calling out all of the Twitter. Just, they just like, again, observing the, the dome of crazy that is Twitter. Food brand. We can change a few things with our food. No one will notice. They're autistic customers. The second the change is made. What is this? What did they do to it? Yeah, new look, same great taste. No, 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 there's a new look and it tastes different too. Don't, don't tell me it's the same. Fun history facts. One of the 31 people arrested at Stonewall on June 28th, 1969 was American folk singer Dave Van Ronk, who was not at the Stonewall Inn at the time and was cis and straight as far as I'm aware. He'd been eating dinner at a nearby restaurant when he noticed a riot happening, said, Well, I suppose I should go see what the fuss is about, stepped outside and immediately started throwing bricks at the cops. For what the cops were doing on that day, um, <coughs> well done, sir. <coughs> What is the plot of Super Heroes? Plot. A hero is made of H and Eero, an alien species called th that is plotting to gradually eradicate the human race by controlling and draining humanity's sexual energy. Five of the snexiest high school- Okay. Uh, must band together to defeat the alien menace? <sighs> you ever read the plot of an anime and immediately feel a sense of dread? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I need to sign a disclaimer or a waiver or something now. There are two kinds of lists. The kind you get on for Googling something cool, like weapons, and the kind you get uh, put on for Googling stuff like this. Um, the former is kind of neat. The latter is, is not. Science! I think my brain just exploded. Uh, science, science, Tumblr, please explain. <clears throat> Air on bottom, go whoosh. Air on top, go whoosh. Air on front, go whoosh. Little plane, stay still. Ah, uh, thanks, science side of Tumblr. I want to be a science and tech educator, but in that vein. Just like, computer go beep. Mean bad thing. <laughs> just, that's it. Boring people, the second they see something a little creative, silly, experimental, or even just a little confusing. Um, what? What the frack did I just watch? <laughs> What were they smoking? And a bunch of emojis I'm not reading reading out. Yeah, no, as a creative, fairly weird, fairly experimental pro person. Human beings just as a whole are just boring. Don't be boring. Every new thing you see within reason is something you can learn from, get inspired by, or, or run in terror from. But like all of these things are at least something you're feeling. I also have a particular penchant against the word silly because it's just, I've, I've done so many things I'm proud of and shown them to other people who are very, very boring. And they've just gone, oh, isn't that silly? Oh, that's silly, wow. I'm just like, no, no, it wasn't silly. It's, it's you know, the, the why, why would this be silly? This is music I just made or something like that. Like, ugh. excuse my rant, but don't ever stop finding things interesting in the world. Turns out the potassium nitrate I had as fertilizer for algae to feed my, I'm sorry, your what? <laughs> Isn't fracking a nitrate salt at all, and I am pissed. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't, I don't, I'm not smart enough to understand this. It turns out the potassium nitrate, which is an explosive as well, if I remember correctly, I had as fertilizer for algae to feed my, skipping over that word, isn't fracking a nitrate salt at all, and I am pissed. Okay, I'm dumb. I think a, a, a what needs to be a more varied diet than... Just algae? Okay, all right. This is the worst typo in the world. Yeah, I'm... Okay. All right. Slug? Yeah, I just looked at a keyboard and T is directly above G. Okay, I understand now. You're trying to feed a slug with algae that you're fertilizing. Okay, got it. God, the explosives plus... Um, anyways, moving on. Someone just emailed me a professional email that ended in, uh, we could have snipped it in the butt earlier. <laughs> Snipped it in the butt. <gasps> Nipped it in the bud. Correct. Nipped it in the butt. Incorrect. Snipped it in the butt. Incorrect. -er. <laughs> this linguistic problem is only going to continue getting worse unless we frack it in the arts now. <laughs> Oh, Bone Apple Tea, lovely to see you here. Overstimulation or sensory overload really is like, sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my shirt tag being itchy and these two strands of hair touching my face and the TV and one of my shoelaces being undone and air touching me and the plane flying overhead and my own thoughts about remembering to buy hummus. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't talk, I have socks on. My ADHD is actually a lot like this, except it doesn't bother me so much as just my focus switches to that thing. So like for each of these things, my focus has switched entirely to that. And I have forgotten about the last thing. I also have fairly severe ADHD. So like 
take that with a grain of salt. But, but if you've ever wondered, that's what it's like. I can't say I've ever been overstimulated. I just, I, I need a lot of stimulation all the time. Anyways, I promise I'll shut up now. She lied vigorously. If someone gave you $200 because you're ugly, would you take the money? Absolutely. I'm ugly, not stupid. Intelligence. <laughs> yeah, if this person isn't like somebody I care about and they say I'm ugly, like, I don't care. <laughs> I wasn't trying to impress you. I started Hebrew, which is why I've been dead on this blog, but I don't think I can ever properly convey to you guys the sheer cultural whiplash of spending years le learning Japanese from Japanese teachers and then trying to learn Hebrew from an Israeli, oh, from an Israeli teacher. Okay, that's <laughs> Japanese. You walk into class already apologizing for being alive. Hebrew, you walk into class, the teacher insults you and you are expected to insult her back. <laughs> <gasps> Japanese conjugates every single verb based on degree of intended politeness. Never mind kaigo and honorifics. Hebrew. Someone asked my teacher how to say excuse me, and she laughed for several seconds before saying, We shouldn't worry about remembering that, since we'll never need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese. If you get one stroke wrong, the entire kanji is incomprehensible. Hebrew. Cursive? Script? Frack it! Do whatever you want! You don't even have to write the vowels out unless you feel like it. Japanese. The closest thing there is to bastard is an excessively direct you pronoun. Hebrew. Bridge translates directly. <laughs> The span of human experience is so insane. Japanese, you, derogatory. Hebrew, rich, affectionate. <gasps> One, why would you hide this in the tags? Two, I desperately want to learn Hebrew right this very minute. I am terrible at languages, but Hebrew and Icelandic are like two of the languages I find just the most pretty. Like I could listen to someone spouting Hebrew at me all day, even if they were just insulting me. I'd be like, oh, this sounds nice. This is not me reducing languages down to their aesthetics or anything, but like those are the two languages I would actually put in the effort, despite me sucking at languages, to actually learn just because they sound awesome. Luffy would never. He would. Memes and memes alone have told me this is somebody from One Punch. Um, that that's all I know. So, sure, Tumblr, do, do your thing. ADHD just makes you really bad at capitalism, unfortunately. There's actually a thing called an ADHD tax. I, I'm not joking, but anyways. Like, bro, I am just floating in a bubble detached from the flow of time. And you want me to work eight hour shifts? I am built to sit up from sundown to sunup with minimal food and less light, watching for intruders or little animals that I can kill. That requires very little of what would actually be called work and a whole lot of just zoning out because my eyes and ears are naturally attuned to picking up and focusing on changes to the environment. I'm not built for the nine to five office world, Janet, unless your job requires me to persistently hunt Mark for sport. Speaking from experience, if you have ADHD and you don't mind making a really big life change, night shift jobs are the best, at least from personal experience. Security guards, uh, if you're in tech, there's no shortage of help desk night workers, knock technicians, all, all sorts of stuff that, that on, are on shift that a lot of people don't want to work. Then during the day, when there's all sorts of distractions and stuff going on, it, you, you don't have to worry about like focusing on anything particular. I still have stuff I struggle with at my job, but all of it's like the paperwork administrative stuff. Off. All the projects. I, I love the project because like I just do it at night. It's like, that's when I'm normally hyper. It's my favorite thing in the world when villains are written too well and it like crosses the line from realistic motivation to wait, why are we supposed to disagree with them again? It's so fun when the evil girlies are right. They're just also killing people about it. Super villains will be like, equal rights would be nice to have. And then stab someone and I'm just like, okay, slay. Yeah, I've had a, a, this problem with a few villains. I see Hollywood is now very into the idea of buying something once and then owning it forever. Ha 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 And being able to make infinite copies, which isn't quite the message they imparted upon me in my childhood. But in the spirit of their own long held stance, you wouldn't download an act on top of that, have you ever used AI to write anything actually creative? The best uses I've had for AI have been just like reformatting stuff. The imagey stuff is a little bit better, but still like all of it has the flavor of a motivational poster at most. Like it's good at writing vapid stuff. And like, that's it. I know there's loads of things to criticize about Marvel movies, uh, but it's a bit funny how everyone says, Marvel villains are just leftist straw men. And then you actually look at uh, the list of Marvel villains and it's basically billionaire CEO war profiteer, billionaire CEO war profiteer, racist alien emperor, entitled God Prince Loki, nice to see you here, the Nazis. Okay, Killian is one of them. 
Uh, oh, Iron Monger. That's the, oh, right, right. That, that was the guy from the first one. I'm an idiot. About to be sacked from work. Can I hire a clown to support me in my meeting? I fracked up at work and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sacked. They've invited me in for a meeting uh, where they're going to sack me. They told me I can bring someone to support me. I'm sorry if I'm slow reading this. It's just a little blurry. Apologies. I want to hire a clown to support me. I'll get him to blow balloons, animals, and to mime stuff. Can I do this? Can they stop me? Apparently not, because later in the New York Post, Despite it being the New York Post, a man being fired brings emotional support clown to meeting. I want to know who took the picture. Like, did the boss just find, like, just crack up? I really hope he, like, didn't get fired because of this. I know he, I know he probably did. Like, you know, you really, really screw up at work. It happens. Wait, is this is this part of the same post or what? I got fired. This is the dude that hired the clown. I love that you can just say it. This is the dude that hired the clown. And everyone immediately knows what you're talking about. Okay, this wasn't part of the previous post. It was a totally different post. And we still know who they were talking about. Dude, I, after you get another job, start a band. I see guitar in the background. Start a band. Also, I love your couch. Have you done therapy? No, never. Have you purposely avoided it? No, I just honestly... I felt I didn't need it. You're just all good. Yeah, I'm totally cool. No problems. I had no problems to solve. My parents were really sweet, very sensitive, very understanding, and supportive. They were lovely. I had a lovely childhood. So you've never stayed up at night being like, why do I make movies where people pull each other's organs out of their bodies? Uh, no, because I know that as George Bernard Shaw said, conflict is the essence of drama. You don't make a movie about nice people who are all nice to each other. That'd be so boring. You might want to live like that, but you don't make a movie like that. This is very true. It, it goes for all, all types of entertainment. I yearn for your placidity. Well, the placid nature is genuine. I want what David Cronenberg has. This reminds me of how Junji Ito, world-renowned horror mangaka, who makes some of the most disturbing manga ever, is actually a super happy and chill guy who loves cats. Yeah, the directions your creativity goes uh, can be influenced by your past, but also don't need to be. Listen, I know each actor brings their own spice to a role, but I just can't take Timothy Charlemagne's Wonka seriously. I'm bad at actors and faces, so we're gonna go right past this. Where is the madness behind his eyes? The malice, the complete disregard for the laws of mankind and decency. This man makes me fear that I'll be shoved into a taffy machine at the slightest provocation, as he should. I'm convinced that some girls with ponytails move their heads a little more enthusiastically because they like how their ponytails swing around. We do. <laughs> it is fun. If, if you ever like, if you do your hair in just the right way, it gets bouncy and you can like bounce it around. It's a lot of fun. My old man once said to me, your thoughts are so random and unconnected. We were just talking about the carnival. How did you get started on wasps? So I told him, they're not unconnected. We were talking about going to the carnival and the carnival is on the same fairgrounds that they use for, used to use for the rodeo. And one time at the rodeo, my brother spilled Sprite on himself and a bee went up his shirt and stung him and bees die when they sting, but wasps don't. And I was wondering why, so I asked you. And he said, that makes no sense. And for the life of me, I can't understand understand how anyone thinks of anything if not by this exact process. I'm somewhere in the middle. I understand how people intentionally think about things, but I also have these trains of thoughts and they happen like a second. And I understand that that people may not uh, experience it, but uh, you can't say it doesn't make sense once it's explained. Like the, these are just uh, connections. There's a ton of crap you can get in life if you're willing to submit yourself to the mortifying horror of asking for it. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God. Me, can I take this exam a different time? Professor, sure. Me, crying on the inside from the effort of asking. Thanks. Oh my God. Oh God. Ah. U.S. state borders, but they are based off rivers and mountains. Oh, uh, that's squiggly. Hashtag get Europe. I think we should do this, but leave Colorado alone. So there's just an extremely jarring rectangle in one part of this. I like how you think. <laughs> they updated it. Oh, that's magical. Today I learned Tom Clancy's stories were so detailed, many assumed he was ex-military. In fact, he never served. He wrote most of his stories in his spare time whilst working as an insurance salesman. He was actually interrogated by the feds for this. He used logic to figure out the most efficient way the inside of a ship would be laid out. Said ship being a vessel in the United States Navy. It was so accurate that the DOD wanted to know who was giving him details about ship layouts because his description of areas included places civilians aren't allowed to see ever. Why the frack is there a big spider on my bedroom wall? It doesn't look like any spider I've ever seen in my life. What the frack? Are you sure it's a spider? Yes, I am. It looks like this. Ugh. 
Oh, that's a wolf spider. They taste like celery and pork and they aren't poisonous. I'm sorry, they what? Why is it in my room? And why do you know what it tastes like? At Sicklia says, why, why do you know what a wolf spider tastes like? Nom nom. What? <laughs> yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy. When and why did you eat a wolf spider? Bandcamp 2019, there was an infestation. I started eating them to get rid of them. <laughs> I have since eaten cockroaches, crickets, grasshoppers, and those little green grass spiders. The greenies taste like vegetarian sausage. Why was your solution to eat them? I mean, no one else was gonna. This is the most Tumblr conversation I've ever seen. This blue, this blue, same color. Delete this. May I present this image from the legend of the vampire? What is the fracking truth? He has multiple outfits that all look identical while having completely different construction. I'd like to add dicky colors for consideration. I mean, cartoon design is based off of 70s and 80s fashion, so it's not wrong. It's rather likely. My wife is constantly mocking me for how lightly done I like my toast. Your hot bread is done, she says to me. Disgusting. I don't say that. Hot would imply it's been in the toaster for more than 15 seconds, lol. Your lightly wormed bread is done, I tell you. One of these days, I'm not even gonna put it in the toaster. I'm just gonna breed real hard on the bread for a minute and you'll be like, wow, this is perfectly done. Thank you so much for warming up my bread for me, honey. I'm so glad we're married. I love you. I say to you every time your mean little arse makes toast for me. This is kind of wholesome. Vampire dude to his vampire friend. Wow, looks like there's only one coffin. What will we do? Other vampire dude who reads a lot of fan fiction. We could share it. And they were two mates. Oh my God, they were two mates. Trans women can't compete in Miss Italia. 100 plus trans men signed up in protest. This is my new favorite headline I've seen all year, Lamau. Become ungovernable. I took courage, used my dead name, and signed up for Miss Italy because fighting transphobia is intersectional. And even though I'm not a trans woman, I've decided to fight for their rights. Okay, this is one, funny, two, courageous, three, how solidarity works, and four, based. Yeah, they want to screw around and look stupid. We'll, we'll make them look stupid. Conversation that Tumblr is not ready for. A vampire's fangs are also its reproductive organs. I scrolled past that before realizing Opie was being literal and not just making some kind of weird joke. Oh, please. The penetration of the vampire's bite as metaphor for sexual penetration is like horny classic vampire symbolism 101. Taking this to the next level of vampire bite as literal reproductive penetration is a conversation Tumblr is thoroughly and uniquely prepared for and one that we will all severely regret very shortly. Oh, I'm ready to be a spectator for this conversation. I'm ready. So when a vampire doesn't want to become a vaddy, they use a set of these, right? <laughs> <gasps> Sir! Oh, so that's what those are for. Vampire condom. <laughs> well, those have ruined those for me forever. <laughs> Cloaked in the fur of their slaughtered brethren. You have a fundamental misunderstanding of how yarn is made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gathered all the yarn. What happened to the animals? Uh, wait, was I not supposed? No, you weren't supposed to. Go resurrect them right now. 